Welcome Sagittarius. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, the next two weeks for you and what it is that you might need help with using the Mystical Healing Reading Cards and the Muse Tarot and also Shadow Healing Cards, which are super cool. So stick around because these have some neat messages. Okay, so let's get started with the Mystical Healing Cards. Sagittarius, give them a quick shuffle. Okay, I'll just see if anything jumps out. Good feeling. Something's. Ooh, almost, almost. Okay, no, I'm going to flip it. Flip it. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Sagittarius, I feel like part of you is um, hearing it and part of you is it's like you're in sort of not two minds but it's like you're potentially a little bit confused as to what messages you're receiving that are your intuition and what is just garbage I want to say I don't know if garbage is the right word but it's sort of like, I don't know, it's as though you're receiving messages, but it's not all from your intuition. And so it's become quite confusing for you to decipher. Okay, and so, yeah. Um, but what I do want to say is to... Maybe start small, Sagittarius. Start with something really little, okay, and listen to your intuition and see what the situation is. When it comes to working with your intuition, it really is this knowing, right? And, and you would have had it before where sometimes you've thought, oh, yeah, I think this could happen or that could happen, but I'm not entirely sure. And then there's been other times where you 100% know that, you know, it's the case. And this is the knowing that is um, is what you need to listen to because I feel like there's something in your life that you can create and in something new that you can birth. But there's a need to decipher uh, what that is by using your intuition, okay? So let's have a look. Tell me more about, listen to your intuition for Sagittarius, please. Tell me more about this. We've got the devil. We've got the devil, and this could very well be about your overthinking. And the three of emotions. Um... There could be things that um, you engage in in your life that are quiet, quietening down your intuition. Okay, it's 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 making it difficult for you to hear what it is that your intuition is trying to say. Okay, I do not know why I'm holding this card like this, but I feel there's something to do with pinpointing something in your mind it's sort of like though what it's like it's like I did this with the focus before like honestly my words are odd today so just bear with me here Sagittarius okay because it's like it's like it's like like just spit it out you know anyhow I feel as though you, there's, there's heaps of thoughts popping into your mind. Oh, I could do this or I could do that. And what about this and what about that? But this is all from your mind and it's also from your ego. Okay, it's not actually coming from your intuition, right? Your intuition is the one that holds, holds the egg that will, that will birth a creation, Okay, it's the thing within you that sparks that fire, you know, and um, not necessarily your mind. So this is important for you to come out of your mind 
and down into your solar plexus, into your heart, and feel it out, okay? We also have the three of emotions here. And this is where this two minds comes in. You know, there's, there's these thoughts, oh, I could do this or I could do this. But again, this is not what you need to listen to because you see here on either side of this person here is these two here and that's what I feel like is happening for you. Okay, and it's, it's clouding your judgment, right? Um, the other thing I want to say about the Sagittarius is just um, be aware of whatever ideas you do have, what your intention is because sometimes that the intention can give us a clue as to whether the the direction that we want to head in is actually a divine path or whether it's more to do with that ego okay so let us just see here if there's any other cards that jump out otherwise i shall pick one and nope let's have a look unlock your heart aha so this gives me a clue here sagittarius that maybe it's been a bit difficult yes it has it's been difficult to for you to listen to your heart um to your intuition sorry because you've closed your heart off Okay, there could have been a time um, where you thought you're, you were listening to your intuition and things went wrong. Okay, uh, but if you really look at that time, or even those times, because this may have happened more than once, if you look at that those times, you will see potentially that that wasn't your intuition. And this is the thing, when we get in our mind, we think it's our intuition, but we really need to silence that in order for our intuition to speak, okay? Um, and the other thing is, Sagittarius, that there's so many things that can cloud that. Trauma, okay, this overthinking, any addictions that you may have, okay, all these things, I mean, that's just three things, right? Just three. There's so many other things that could get in the way of that, you know? outside influences um so yeah i feel like with this unlock your heart um it's a matter of jumping back on the horse and you know this this person is sitting on this horse here this horse is not going anywhere but it's sort of just trying it out right there's this need to get this trust back um and this is this trust for yourself and your intuition. Um, I do feel like some of you are so convinced that it is your intuition speaking. And in fact, it is not. We have the Knight of Materials. Actually, I don't want to take that because I haven't even instructed what I want yet. And if the Knight of Materials is meant to come out, it indeed will. Unlock your heart for Sagittarius. Tell me more about this, please. Or is that just me being unsure? Oh, there's one that's fallen on the floor there. And that is, by the looks of things, death. Okay, let me just pick it up here, Sagittarius. Yep, it's death. Okay, so this is an end of a cycle. Okay, and this is why it's so important for you to unlock your heart. And maybe it's the ending of the cycle of keeping your heart locked up. Because, you know, part of this has been a protection Okay, um, but you don't need to protect your heart anymore. So long as you are allowing your intuition to speak and you have that connection with your intuition, um, you can safely unlock your heart. And the fact of the matter is your heart is actually going to lead you much better than what your mind will. Okay, it will always lead you in the direction that you're meant to go in Sagittarius. So um, I just feel like some of you have lost faith in that okay um unlocking your heart also will put an end you know this is about you needing to drop into your heart because these it's like you spend so much time inside your mind you occupy by that space 24 7 which 
I mean, obviously you need time to sleep, but that's what it's like. Okay, and um, this practice of coming into your heart to let that lead is crucial for you. Okay, um, this is interesting. Three of materials here. All right, just notice these three heads here. This is like... Getting ideas from other people as to how to actually come into your heart, okay? Because if you notice here, the three heads uh, still appear um, as, as faces, right? As heads. But the bodies, the bodies on them are flowers, okay? And this is around this heart area, okay? So this is just affirming for me and for you, that it is your heart that you need to allow to lead the way. So let us have a look. Sagittarius, here we go. This flipped out without a noise. I love that. Ground yourself. Hmm, yeah. Ground yourself. Have a look on YouTube. Have a look on, you know, just search for ways to ground yourself. You'll find a number of different ways to do that so that you can find what works for you. Okay. Um, I feel like this is going to help you empty out any emotions that are holding you back. Um, and I feel as though this is going to help you unlock doors that potentially may have been closed for a really long time. And these are doors within yourself, okay? It's going to help you sort things out. Um, it's also going to help some sort of growth within you, personal growth. You know, this is going to... Oh, I do want to say from this card, for you to get out of nature and ground yourself in nature, because I feel like this connection is going to make you... Be aware of your connection and the fact that you are one with the universe, okay? You are not separate from it. Visually, yes, sure, you look completely different. But energetically, there's no, there's no separation, all right? Um, so, yeah. Oh, wow, I love this. Okay, so we've got the Ace of Materials here. So this is, this grounding yourself is also going to help ignite this passion within you because, yes, you see, it, this person here is absolutely encompassed by all these things from nature. So getting out of nature is 100% going to help you. It's going to help with this new beginning because we've got death here and we have the Ace of Materials which is a new beginning, a new passionate beginning, okay, in love, in work, career, anything, okay. Um, this is also about you tuning into yourself, you know, and, and if you're not sure what this new beginning is going to be yet, by tuning into yourself, you will definitely get a clear picture there and you will feel what it is that you want to um, incorporate into your life, okay? Because there's this journey. See, the, we've got the Muse of Voices here. There's this journey here. Um, and I, Sagittarius is... It, it, it is <laughs> a journey of truth. This person right here is travelling along this bridge okay, and um, and it's yet to pass, this is so interesting, This it's yet to pass the gatekeepers into this world, okay, and the gatekeepers are there, they're dancing, they've got their kites in the sky, they're doing their thing that they do, you know, they're loving what they do, and it's almost as if they're unaware of you walking along this bridge here, but they can feel your presence, they feel you there, because they are so in tune with their intuition and their heart, and they are dancing their truth, right? Uh, that they they don't need to look. 
because they can feel you there. Okay, so they will be there to find out, is your truth a vibrational match for the world that you're about to walk into? Are you being truthful with what it is that you want? Are you being honest with yourself, first and foremost, Sagittarius? Okay, so yeah, let's have a look here. Next card for Sagittarius, please. We have Awaken Your Vulnerability. Yeah, see, this is also, you know, like connecting in with that heart, right? Um, unlocking your heart. Awaken your vulnerability here. Again, this heart, there's this protection of the heart here. You've really been hurt. There's been, there's been, yeah, boy, oh boy, there's been some pain, man. Um, it's quite interesting because I feel like you, throughout your life, it just, just this person here that has been chopped in half, um, I feel like you've been walking a journey that's not really you. And along that journey, you've been hurt. Um, so whether it's someone else's journey or it's just that you've gotten lost and lost connection with the intuition. And this is the thing. It's sort of like, you know, that radio frequency, right? Tuning in, tuning in, that fine tuning to get exactly the right um, frequency so that you can hear your intuition. Because there's lots of people around you who are willing to play, you know, be part of this play of your life, okay? Um, but it's not authentic. Like, people have a costume on and they're playing roles. It's not really who they truly are either. So what happens is when we're not really being authentic, um, we surround ourselves with people who are inauthentic, okay? And the fact of the matter is that authenticity is, well, let me put it this way. There's been times in my life where I've believed that I'm being authentic, when in fact I'm not. Okay, um, I just thought I was, but I was still hiding behind a mask of some sorts, okay? There was part of me that was being authentic, but I wasn't taking it the whole way, okay? Um... Yeah, I sort of want to say to you that revealing your shadow self doesn't mean that you live an authentic life. Okay, so I don't know why I needed to say that, but I did. That has not jumped out properly. Okay, I need to give this instruction here. Awaken your vulnerability for Sagittarius, please. That's better. We've got the six of voices. Is that one card? Yes, one card. Six of voices, yep. Oh, I love this. Sagittarius, I love this. And one more card for Awaken Your... Okay, there it is. Wow. Wow, Sagittarius. Okay, let me see if I can interpret these cards clearly. I can see it, but whether I can put words to it is another story. <laughs> I'll try my best. Okay, so... Here's what I'm seeing here. Awaken your vulnerability, okay? <sighs> There's something within you that you allow to have power over you. There's something that you hold on to, which is, it, it, it's a very, I don't, I don't mean to minimize anything, okay? But the thing that has power over you is not as big as you. Put it that way, when we talk about something having power over us, we believe it's bigger than us, right? But this particular thing is not. It's not bigger than you at all. It's the, the, the power that you give it, which makes it appear big, okay? And, and this, you know, this is it here, right? Yeah, and I feel like this is you. And this, this person could easily, just with the flick of a finger, flick this thing off, flick this person off here and get rid of them. Okay, to not have that power over them anymore, but they bow down to them and put their hand there to make a bridge for this person to come and enter um, into their world. 
and yeah this is this is what I sort of mean by authentic right because it, it's like there's this sense of oh yeah you know I don't let anyone rule me I don't let anyone control me but there's this thing that does control you and this could also be a part of yourself this could even be your mind you know and um or it could be something from the past even um because this this one here is looking sort of back and it's not back but yeah it's looking away so I just wonder if it's something from your past okay and um Yeah, there could still be healing that needs to be done here. Um, anyway, the Four of Voices has also come up. So this is about you needing some rest and relaxation, some nurturing. Um, and also, again, here's this little person again. But this one here is not allowing this person to have any control over them so this is the healing that needs to be done okay um <clears throat> and i feel as though this is going to release <clears throat> anything that is is well, anything that you're allowing to hold power over you, Sagittarius, right? So tell me more. Give us another card for Sagittarius. What have we got here? Access clear thinking. Yeah, this, this will definitely, this here will definitely help um, access this clear thinking. And, and this is allowing your intuition to come through, okay? Because it's sort of like, When we allow our mind to rule, it's like your intuition has to unravel and go through this maze to get to here, right? And um, and it just gets lost along the way. And then there's then this other maze, like, you know, it's almost like it's impossible for us to actually get the message because the intuition is trying to send a message but we're not receiving it because there's just far too much going on up here because of what happened back then, because of this thing that still has power over us. Okay, so this is where it's super important for you to make sure that you are doing the work that you need to allow this intuition to speak to you, okay? So tell me more for access clear thinking. Tell me more for access clear thinking. Muse of materials. I like this. This is cool. One more card for activate. Wow. Muse of inspiration. This is a pretty incredible here, Sagittarius. So we've got the muse of materials. And so just going back to this muse of voices here. See how this person is way back here and still yet to reach these gatekeepers or the the bridge minders <laughs> um what i find interesting about this too is that this person is dressed in black okay and here we have the muse of materials where this person is walking the bridge and walking along in red like it's this bright color like hey look at me not trying to hide themselves anymore <sighs> And, and the funny thing, Sagittarius, is I don't often feel like you would hide yourself, but there's a part of you that you would hide. And part of you thinks that, oh, well, if I reveal this about myself, then I'm actually um, not hiding anything. But there is still things there that you're not bringing out. Okay. Um, we've got the Muse of Inspiration here too. Still feel like there's okay. Sorry, let me just see this here. <sighs> there's just two mixed messages here. Uh, well, not mixed because I think it's showing me. 
This is what's happening when, you, when you're not able to access the clear thinking. By accessing the clear thinking, you can sh throw off that darkness and walk forth with confidence. The gatekeepers are going to go, welcome. This is the way. Away you go. Okay, whereas this one here, I feel like there's still this sort of, um, you can't bring this with you. You can't bring the negativity with you. The negative thinking, the stinking thinking cannot come with you. It needs to be thrown out. Okay, and I know that's easier said than done. Um, but this is definitely something that needs to be worked on. And the more that you tune in, um, to your intuition and the more you allow your heart to rule the mind yeah look honestly it's going to kick up a stink to begin with because you know this is the ego we're really talking about here Sagittarius okay it's it, it's been threatened it's gonna have it's gonna throw a wobbly you know um, but we can assure the ego that it's okay if there's a dire need for us to listen to the ego, like there's a bear about to eat us, we're going to listen to it. But ultimately, it's the heart that we want to rule. And, you know, you can also reassure the ego that the heart has the ego's best interests in mind as well. Okay, and um, the ego can never die because it is necessary for us to warn us of certain things. But it just doesn't need to rule us. Okay, so yeah, give me one more card for Sagittarius, please. These cards want to flip over. I'm just going to give it one more shuffle, otherwise I'll just flip one. But here we go. Thank you. Contemplate death and beyond. contemplate death and beyond when we've got you know this is not about you you know like carking it or anything not at all but this is about what if I open this door what if I unlock a door that I've never walked through before what if what if I release all this negative thinking what if I release this ego what is that gonna look like like actually comp contemplate that because you hold the key, okay, and it's sort of like stopping yourself and going, actually, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, what if, let's just play this out, you know, um, and, and this may actually also allow your ego to see that might not be so bad, maybe it will be better, you know, Let's have a look. Tell me more about contemplate death and beyond. Because it's not just about the change. It's beyond that change and what that means for us, right, that we need to look at. One more. Yeah, there we go. Wow. We've got the night of inspiration here. The night of inspiration. What if? What if, Sagittarius, you allow your most passionate desires to come to fruition? What if? What is that going to look like? What if that sets off? What what if it's the most amazing thing in the entire world that could have ever happened to you, right? What if? What if you really did live your truth? What if you got rid of all those negative thoughts and that stinking thinking? Be aware of how that serves you, because sometimes that can serve a purpose for us. As much as we don't want to admit that, it really can. There was a time where I thought negatively all the time and it served a purpose because I was moaning about this and that and everyone felt sorry for me. And then I realised that I don't want that to be my story and I decided to stop thinking negatively and you know, for a little bit there, I actually had nothing to say because everything that I did say was negative but I didn't like how it felt. And so I decided to change that and slowly but surely things came along. And it still creeps in. It still comes in to go, yoo-hoo, look at this negative thing over here. And it's like, you know, I'll engage maybe sometimes depending on what's going on for me. But then I'll catch myself out and come back. Because it feels better over here. I don't want to walk backwards across the bridge. 
I want to walk forwards. I want to walk towards this passionate beginning, you know? So, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, let's have a look at the shadow healing cards here, okay? So, tell me, give me three cards for Sagittarius in regards to this reading, please. Three cards for Sagittarius. We've got illusions. Okay, we've got paralyzed and we've got dumbfounded. Okay, so illusions. Hidden behind all the smoke and mirrors is the truth. Have patience and wait for the smoke to dissipate. What is left before you will be the truth. Oh, I love this. I love these cards. Like, seriously, I should actually do a reading with these cards at the beginning. Anyway, or all, all the way through. They're just so cool. Um, this card here, Paralyzed. Okay, did I show you that? I don't know, but anyhow. Paralyzed. Not being able to move forward can overwhelm and create a sense of fear. But standing still can be just as frightening. At least moving forward can create change. Yes, and this is what we were talking about with the death card, right? And the new beginning, okay? At least moving forward can create change. Okay, so last card here is dumbfounded. Sometimes there are no words for things that happen and the best you can do is shake your head, have a giggle and move straight past it, okay? Um, you know, some things are not easy to laugh about, um, but, you know, the message overall is to move straight past it. But that's not to say to suppress any emotions that come up with it. Um, it is to say... Make sure you're dealing with what it is that you need to deal with because otherwise it will keep you stuck and held back and paralyzed, okay? So, yeah, very important here, Sagittarius. Okay, I hope that helps you. Please come back and listen to this over the next couple of weeks, Sagittarius, to help you and remind you, okay, as, what it, as to what it is that you need to be um, working on during this next fortnight. Okay, Sagittarius, take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.